You're listening to Time to Talk. You shot Doherty's dog. Well, could it be true there are rumours that the much-loved Australian TV show Blue Healers could be up for a reboot? Imagine that, just when you thought Mount Thomas had experienced all the crime it could possibly handle. Well, Rob Brown was a supporting actor in the series for the entire 13-year run of the show from 1994 to 2006. G'day, Rob. Hi, how are you going? <laughs> Tom Croydon's favourite line, apparently, or John Wood's favourite line, you shot Doherty's dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, he loved that line. <laughs> so tell me, what do you reckon? Is a reboot on the cards? Oh, I haven't heard anything, but... Um, it definitely, I mean, you know, it definitely could. It was a, a show that focused on, on guest cast members each week, um, apart from, you know, the Maggie PJ, PJ relationship and uh, Ditch and Tess. So I don't know what it was, but I do know that they did film another episode or two to continue the storyline if it had have kept airing. When, when it was axed, yeah. uh, I heard that they, they went t- two different ways. They they might have even shot, like, one that was very definitive, that clearly it couldn't come back. Probably they killed Tom or something, I don't know. Yeah, no. Uh, but then the other option was it, it could be open for a reboot. Could it stand up in, in 2020, though, do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, I think definitely it could. You know, all the, all the storylines are relevant. Like, you know, they covered rape and incest and um, heaps of stuff. So, yeah. Maybe in 2020 they, they'd need to, I don't know, country policing might look very different these days. They certainly wouldn't want to do it with COVID being a reality in the show. They'd have to pretend COVID didn't exist. Otherwise, it would just be, you know, visiting people who are not in lockdown. Yeah. That'd be pretty boring. Yeah, yeah. And I actually, um, just quickly on that, I get asked a lot because I do, I work on Neighbours as well. And I get asked, why isn't Neighbours covering the coronavirus? And, and the thing is, people watch their favorite dramas to escape reality or to you know they have a hard day at work and they have dinner and they just want to relax so t- let's let's try and walk down memory lane a little bit here we had maggie doyle mm. tom croyd pj uh, there was constable wayne patterson yep there was chris riley in the bar there nick schultz mm-hmm. and I, I also read an interesting fact today that nick schultz and pj hasham they were going to have the surnames were going to be crossed, so it would have been Nick Hashem and PJ Schultz, but they swapped it for some reason. Yeah. That's interesting. That, but we loved these characters, didn't we, Rob? Yeah, yeah. And, and that often happens in the first, you know, development of a TV series. They'll play around with different ideas. I think Lisa um, was even going to originally play Wayne's wife. Um, oh, I do. I know. I know Lisa was originally going to play Roz uh, Patterson. But they swapped that around, so... Tell us about your 13 run on the show. The, the show went for 13 years, but, yeah. I mean, you were always on set, always behind the scenes. Yeah. Assuming you didn't have talking roles. But what did you do and what was it like? Yeah, it was basically, um, you know, you'd get a phone call from the agency and they'd say, are you available to do Blue Heels on this date? And I'd say yes or no. At that time, I had a job where it was a little bit more flexible, so it was good. We would go in each week or every couple of weeks and sit at the bar or play darts or play billiards <laughs> or and just, you know, interact with the characters and and all that sort of stuff. So it was good. It sounds like you had a great time there, Rob, I have to say. <laughs> There's some interesting facts about Blue Healers. I always love reading trivia about shows. This one this one amuses me for some reason. Before her death in a car accident late in season one, yep. Tom's first wife, Nell Croydon, was mentioned in almost every episode, but she was never seen. Yep. Afterwards, photographs of her character appeared clearly on Tom's desk, showing her with their children as toddlers. Mm. And eventually Nell would appear as a vision <laughs> to Tom in season seven, which was the only time she was ever seen in person on the screen. <laughs> And then they go on to say, this was, of course, a different actress used to provide Nell's voice in the episode of her death, in which her left eye is also seen briefly in a photograph which Tom touches before the funeral. Behind the scenes, John Wood thought that this whole thing was so hilarious that he referred to his wife as non-existent Nell. Right. (laughs) How cool is that? Uh, I'll tell you what. I don't remember seeing her much in it, but I remember the, the episode where she dies... And I think Tom, Tom's holding her hand or something at the morgue. 
Uh, yeah, that was actually yeah. a crew member. That was just one of the crew mem members that they plucked. And, uh, you know, paled up her hand with some makeup and off we go. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> they were on a budget, clearly. Yeah. The series was cancelled in 2006 yep. due to a sharp decline in ratings. What I find interesting about this, Rob, is that it was reaching around three and a half million Australians yeah. every at its peak. Even when it was axed, mm -hmm. when... They describe this as a as a steep decline, and I suppose it is. But it was still reaching 1.2 million. And these days, yeah. because of the way technology has evolved and streaming and all of that, yeah. God, you'd, you'd only dream of those sorts of figures these days. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't actually to do with the ratings as such. It was more about the football sport that Channel 7 had just bought. And they'd spent millions and millions and millions of dollars, I don't know exactly how much, in snagging the sport, the live-to-air football. And it was a case of, because they'd spent so much money on their sport, football, um, they had to let Blue Heelers or um, All Saints go. Oh, what a horrible choice to make. Yeah. Well, look, Rob, it's been, it's been lovely talking to you. It'd be fascinating to see if they do bring it back and, and what that means. Do the same characters come back, yep. played by different people? Mm. Do they, you know, obviously, Maggie can't come back. It'd be, it would be fascinating to see how they would actually do it if they managed to do it. Yeah. It's been great talking to you, Rob. It sounds like you have an, an amazing life. Thank you very much for having me, and hi to all the listeners. You shot Doherty's dog.